Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to look at why the tips of my wallamy pine are browning. It's bitterly cold today uh, in early December 2024. It's actually theoretically seven degrees C today um, but it actually feels like minus one and I'm not messing about it's not a joke my weather app actually says it feels like minus one. I've never seen such an extreme variance there, but it's the wind. Uh, it's a very chilly wind. So I've had to get the big coat out. I might even zip it up in a minute um, whilst we look further into this tree. We've also had uh, a cold snap a couple of weeks ago and one of the signs of damage is on this cordyline australis. You can see some of the central growth, not quite the central spears, but the, um, the fresh soft growth that um, hadn't quite hardened off has been damaged. Um, in my experience, this central growth will become damaged as the winter goes on. We're only in December, as I say, so there's plenty of cold weather still to come, I'm sure. And I expect that will die back to ground level. Apart from that, it's just the banana, Musabashu, that's died back, which is as ex to be expected. Uh, and everything else is is just bedding, so no no other damage to be concerned about just yet. So on to the the subject of the video, the Wallamai pine. Um, someone actually commented on a previous video that they'd noticed over the past few videos that it had some brown tips, and whilst I had noticed, it sort of didn't consciously think about it um, but they're absolutely right and I've looked into it and have some ideas well basically they're not really my ideas I googled it and the AI on Google said the following things whilst I read them out I will just zoom in on some of the affected areas so first idea from Google AI was that it could be underwatering. I'm going to rule that out because it's in a bed which has an open bottom so it's straight into the ground it's not in a pot and we live in the northwest of England where it's pretty constantly wet and if we do have a dry spell then I, this is one of the beds that does get plenty of water. So I'm going to rule that out. Next idea was overwatering. Well, that tends to produce more of a yellow um, color than a brown, I'd say. And whilst there is a bit of yellow in in there, it's really the tips that are, are brown. That's the real issue here. So I'm going to rule that out as well. Uh, also because it's in a you know the raised bed it is quite free draining there so I, I really don't think it's sort of waterlogged the next idea was um, incorrect pH in the soil now I guess it could be that but it's not affected anything else that I've planted in this bed over the last six or seven years so I suspect it's not that some old Spanish moss in there, uh, which is dead. A few bits actually. I think it's dead. Anyway, um, the next reason for bit why it has brown leaves was too much fertilizer. Well, again, I'm going to rule that out. I definitely haven't over fertilized this area. It is close to the banana and um, that, that is quite a hungry plant, so that gets a bit of fertiliser. But I, I don't fertilise it anywhere near as, as much as I probably should. And the rest of the bed gets very little at all, so I'm sure it's not that. Basically, I'm ruling everything out here, aren't I? But stay tuned, because there are some possible um, reasons for the damage. So next one is too little fertiliser sort of spotting a theme here with Google. It's kind of listing every possible um, scenario, too much or too little of, of anything. So 
uh, too little fertilizer. Well, no, I'm going to rule that out uh, for the reasons I mentioned. It's, it's definitely getting some from the um, from the banana, and I think it needs very little to be honest. Anyway, the next, um, and actually, before I go on, it's worth pointing out. I can't really I'll try and zoom in a little bit, but the newer growth, sort of in the top third of the tree almost top half of the tree is much better, much greener and pristine looking than the older leaves. Now these leaves are probably um, seven years old, six or seven years old. So, but I do think that the damp, the, um, move this, move the bajou out of the way. I do think that the damage has got worse the browning has got worse this year, for sure. But again, new even on the old leaves that are damaged, the new growth on this leaf is nice. So maybe not, maybe, maybe the damage did come previously. Anyway, let's continue with the, um, the potential reasons for the damage. And the next one from Google AI is weather changes. And what it means there, really, having looked further into it, is um, cold snaps and heat waves, uh, and particularly going from one to, sort of one to the other, where it's extreme, extreme difference in temperature. Now, it's definitely not from a heat wave, as mentioned before. In Northwest England, hasn't got above thirty degrees, I don't think, for the past few years. Um, but it has got pretty cold at various times and again we've been in the northwest it's often wet and cold which causes real issues so that's definitely a potential reason for this browning and um that's that's one which i'm definitely um considering the next possible reason was sun scorch. Well, I'm going to rule that out. Again, northwest England, quite a high um, uh, latitude here or longitude. Which one is it? Um, so we're. It, I'm ruling that out. That's not the reason. Um, then the penultimate reason, and I'm ruling this one in, is pests, and it reckons particularly scale. Um, or aphids could be causing damage and just as I've been out here I have noticed some fluffy fluffy bits there there's a few more as well further up here it almost looks like lichen or something and up here actually there are perhaps some little creepy crawlies Try and disturb them as I'm filming. See if they move. Oh no, it's not. They're not creepy crawlies. It's just uh, just damage. So I do wonder whether pests are causing this. More examples down here. But it is, as I say, it's. Kind of, I think that might be lichen. Um, so, but yeah, could be could be a pest. And the last reason, and this is the one, to be honest, that I was uh, before I did any research, I was thinking it it could well be this is a fungal issue. And. Let me zoom in again so you can see the ends are brown, but actually it's maybe it starts with some spotting. Um, and it does kind of look like fungal spores, you know, to, to my eye anyway, to my naked eye. Um, it looks like it could be that. Um, I have got um, a systemic fungicide which I use on... I don't think I have any box anymore, but on the Shamrops humilis, uh, which also have suffer from fungal issues. 
And in fact, let me just compare this look with the fungal issues on my Shamrops. So here's one next to the blue bin, recycling day tomorrow. And this is a fungal issue. And you see again, see what I mean? It starts with spotting. These spots do tend to have something white in the middle. Although not all of them do. And that's a very common issue with shamrops. And you just, you know, either spray them with systemic fungicide on a dry day when it's not blowing a gale or just cut them off. But again, the new growth is always looking lovely until that gets hit as well. So going back to the, let's have a look at the, the den, the leftover Christmas tree leaves. There's a, there's a fireplace. Oh, you've got a campfire and a chair. Uh, you've been, you've been watching I'm a Celebrity, haven't you? Yeah, found that as well. Yeah, the tree we bought was about two foot too long, so we, we cut a foot off the bottom. A little bit more. It's seven years old. Seven years old, is it? Yeah. Okay. And uh, and there's the tree inside. Looking lovely, if I do say so myself. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, so, sorry, to compare back to those spots on the Shamarops, these ones, again, yeah, some of them do have something in the middle. Not as many, but some of them do. Let's see if we can find some more. But I would say most of them don't have something in the middle. So I don't know whether that's um, relevant or not. It's just an observation I've made. What I'd really like to see is someone knowledgeable commenting on this video and saying, Tom, this is what the issue is. Um, and hopefully it's one, one of the ones I've mentioned. Hopefully I haven't missed any. If I have, I'm blaming Google AI. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. If indeed, you still are. Like and, and, like and subscribe. Yes.